Deputy Chair can start the meeting. That'll be me then, Tammy. Thank you. Uh, right, I'm appointment of chair. That is myself, Councillor Net Wingrave. I'm going to move straight to agenda item two, which is to welcome everybody to the meeting today, the Street Scene Engineering Cabinet Board of 18th of March 2022. To make you aware, today's meeting will be recorded. I would like to welcome any members of the public and press to today's meeting, but can I kindly ask you to observe the meeting only as you are not allowed to speak or participate? Please ensure that your phones are switched to silent during the duration of the meeting. In addition, can I refer you to the protocols for remote meetings, which have been previously highlighted in the scrutiny committee? The next item on the agenda is do a roll call. I am Councillor Wingrave, Cabinet Member for Regeneration and Sustainable Development and the Chair of today's meeting. Tammy, can you take the roll call, please? Certainly, Chair. I'm Marty Selfers, President. Your Vice Chair today is uh, Councillor Leanne Jones. President. Thank you. Uh, Chair and Vice Chair of the previous Scrutiny Committee, we have Councillor Sheila Penry. Present, Louis. Um, Tammy. Thank you. And Councillor Rob Wood. Present, thanks, Tammy. Thank you. Moving on to officers, we have Mike Roberts. Present. Thank you. Dave Griffiths. Present, Tammy. Thank you. Joy Smith. Present. Thank you. Hassan Hassan. Present. Thank you. James M. Davis. Present. Thank you. Charlotte Davis. Present. Thank you. And myself, Tammy Davis, the Democratic Services Officer. Have I missed anybody present who will be uh, participating in the meeting? No. There we go, Chair. The roll call is complete. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. I move on to agenda item three, Chair's announcements. I have none for today's meeting. Agenda item four, declarations of interest. Are there any? None. Thank you. I see none, Chair. OK, thank you. Moving on to agenda item five, minutes of previous meeting. The minutes are on pages five to ten. And unless anyone indicates otherwise, I'll accept them as a true and accurate record because I believe I was here with uh, Mike Harvey last time. So, yeah. All right. Agenda item six, the forward work programme, 21-22. We note this is the final Street Scene and Engineering Cabinet Board in 21-22 cycle of meetings. A new forward work programme for 22-23 will be produced following the annual General Meeting of Council in 2022. Agenda item seven, green bit po uh, grid bin policy, sorry, wrong way around. Do the scrutiny officers or the chair's scrutiny committees have anything to further to say on this? No? Recommendations on page 13. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 7 is approved. Agenda item 8, quarter 3 performance monitoring report. Anything further from Councillor Jones or officers? Nothing from me, Chair. No. Nothing to add, Chair. OK, so we note the monitoring report. Agenda item 9, environment update report. Anything further from Councillor Jones or officers? Nothing, Chair. Thank Nothing. you. We note the report. Agenda item 10, new postcode for Bronantfe. Is it Bronantfe? In GCG. Any further to add from Councillor Jones or officers? Nothing, Chair. Nothing, Chair. Thank, Thank you. This item has been subject to an integrated impact assessment screening. The recommendation is on page 67. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 7 is approved. Item 10, sorry. I don't know what 7 is there. Right, OK. Agenda item 11. Is there anything further from Councillor Jones or officers? This is the list of approved contractors. No, nothing, Chair. Nothing, Chair. This item has been subject to an integrated impact assessment. The recommendations on page 83 and 84. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 11 is approved. Agenda item 12. Traffic Capital Programme. An active travel scheme is 22 to 23. Anything further from Councillor Jones or officers? Nothing, Chair. Nothing, Chair. This item has been subject to integrated impact assessment and the recommendations are on page 104 of the bundle. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 12 is approved. Well. Wrong number again. Right, agenda item 13, vehicle and heavy, heavy plant fleet procurement programme 2223. Could officers please advise us about an extra item that's been missed off the appendix, please? Uh, 
Um, yes, Chair, it's uh, in relation to the purpose of the ro report under item two. There is an error in terms of the future years. Within the report, it says 24-25, but it should have read 23-24. Okay, thank you for that. We've noted Sorry the... to interrupt there, Chair. Right. Dave, if I could add to that, if it's okay with you. After speaking with officers this morning, it's in relation to um, a small tractor being omitted from Appendix A. I've got the details here if you want me to um, just go through that quickly. Is that okay? Yes, please. Yeah, Dave, is that all right with you? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. So it's a small tractor for use at the Knoll Country Park with multi uses for such things as towing trailers and mobile catering units, uh, also cutting grass with a flail attachment and other work related tasks on the park. So if you're happy to include that in Appendix uh, A to the report, Chair and uh, Board Member. Uh, just to clarify, that will go into the engineering um, street care services element of the appendix, yeah. Okay. Okay, we all fine with that. We move on. So we've noted the in integrated impact assessment recommendations are on page one to eight. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. Then item 13 is approved. Uh, right, traffic regulation orders. We've read all the reports on the relevant integrated impact assessments contained in the pack, so we will move through these as quickly as possible. Um, with the provision of item 15, the rest of them, as long as officers have nothing further to add or Councillor Jones has no questions, can I just take these in block, Tammy, or do you want me to go through them individually? If you could just go through um, uh, the agenda item, the page and the okay. name of the traffic orders, Chair, the area, if that's okay, okay. just so we have so, clarity on what's been approved. Yeah, that's fine. Thank so you. agenda item 14 is on page 139, traffic orders for Neath Leisure and Retail Development. This is for permission to advertise the various traffic orders. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. Anything further from officers? Nothing. Then item 14 is approved. Agenda item 15. Um, now, this is the one there's a query on. Oh, dear, I've lost my page. Hold on. Page under 59. No, I've lost, I lost my other one. Right, hang on. Bear with me a minute, please. Right, got it back. That's you get for poking the screen in the wrong place. Right. Um, agenda 50, item 15. This is 159 onwards. This is traffic orders for Goitra Portalbert. Now, um, Councillor Wood raised uh, issues about this in scrutiny. Um, Councillor Jones, have you got any uh, questions on this or anything? So I'm right in thinking there's been, there was a raised issue at, um, originally in a community safety pact meeting. I think I was actually there in Goitra. Um, and obviously we've looked at what mitigation issues we can put in. However, the members are not supporting it, Councillor both tailors, and there are a number of residents that are against these traffic orders. Is that right? That's correct. Yes, that's correct. That's in the report. Um, I, I'm, I'm of a mind to um, reject this one. I don't know how you feel about that. Can we defer it and, and get... Uh, knowledge from the area again and Councillor Taylor's. Would officers uh, be happy with that? I, um, I, I think I'll bring Joy Smith in here. Obviously, um, the assessment's been undertaken. Um, I think Joy needs to just explain the risks um, associated for uh, with taking the decision by members so that everybody's clear on the position. So, Joy, I don't know if you'd like to uh, expand on that for the members. Yeah, can I just fine. jump in a little bit? I'm so sorry, Joy. Can I jump in, Chair, no, just before yeah, Joy? That's, fine. that's all right. Just, just from a technical point of view, for members to be aware, this is the last meeting in this cycle of the um, Streeting and Engineering Cabinet Board as well. Thank you. Sorry, Joy. Carry on. No, that's fine. Thanks, Tammy. Um, the upper militia then, Chair. This was brought, as you said, Councillor Jones, to us via a packed meeting. Um, and has been looked at by road safety, by our engineering colleagues and our learner travel officer who works within my team. The route has been assessed um, as a safe route. And what we've got at the moment, and I appreciate Councillor Wood what you were saying, Goitra is a small area. And to remove any parking from that area is, uh, is obviously going to be a topic for discussion with residents. 
Although it's my understanding that in the PACT meeting, the very thing they were asking us to look at, Councillor Jones, I wasn't there, but I, I think you said you, you might have been, was the fact that they couldn't get out to these side streets and vehicles. They were having problems with visibility. So it came to me under that guise. And when we got there, um, when my officers went out to have a look at it, they came back and said, not only were there, was there an issue in people having getting out of these side streets, because there are some residents with quite large white transit vans as well, I believe, that are actually parking right up to the junction, which is in contra contravention of, as we all know, the highway code, where you're not supposed to do that anyway. You're supposed to stay 10 metres back from the junction. It was also forcing some of our more vulnerable road users, the, the school children, um, mums, dads, carers with, with buggies, out onto the road because they couldn't physically remain on the pavement to cross. So we've now got a position where we've got cars that can't come out of junction safely. And that was the feedback that we had from the community meeting, from the police that were there, because they've spoken to me as well and from the residents who brought that forward. We've also now got the added concern of this is a designated safe route, the main road. Um, and we've got pupils walking in the road because they cannot physically stay on the pavement. So to, to remove that risk from, from us as an authority, there are only small amount of, of things that we can do. We either do, as is suggested here, junction protection in the form of the yellow lines. And it is planned, although it's a budgetary thing, but Councillor Taylor's were initially, this is what we discussed. We're going to be putting drop curves in as well, because obviously under the Disability Act and the Equalities Act, we have to provide drop crossings and you will be familiar with those throughout the borough, particularly on your own area and your own patch, really, where you've brought, you know, a number of the councillors on the call today have spoken to me in the past about similar issues. So the risk I fear, and, you know, it's my job to, to advise, that's written into my job description even, that I advise you, is that we've now got a risk that's been brought to us by the community. It's a risk that we're upholding because we've 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 agreed with that. We can see it. And what do we do with that risk now that it's been identified, I suppose? So for us, from, for, from an officer perspective, I, I would like to see this going through, although I do understand that you would like us to to go back and look at it. We have been back on several occasions and we have actually reduced the length of um, the restrictions that we were looking to put in place to try and appease some of the residents and um, you know in, in consultation with Councillor Taylor as well but nevertheless if we shorten them anymore my engineering colleagues are advising us that to shorten them anymore then they're going to be right back up to the junction and, and we're still going to have issues in terms of, of visibility and getting out to those, those small side streets and the lane as and when you approach the main road. Um, can, I, can I ask through you, Claire? Uh, Leanne, I had cons uh, Councillor Wood did want to ask a question. His hand is up. Can you go in oh. first? Or? Yeah. yeah just, just briefly. Um, can any mitigation be put in then uh, for large vehicle parking elsewhere up in Goitra, perhaps down at the bottom of the streets? I'm just looking at a way that we can sort of say, right, instead of, right, well, you can't park there, you're going to have to go somewhere else. If we sort of put something in place, perhaps further down the road or at the bottom, is there any possibilities that could be done? We could, I'm assuming, look at other parking, but Dave, we wouldn't normally provide specialist parking would we um no not 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 no no we wouldn't uh in answer to that direct question um i can't see that we can put any other engineering measures on the highway there um without building physical build outs which would still affect um residential parking there um so i i, I haven't got a solution um um, that we could put at those those, those junctions. 
Right. Um, well, thank, right. Thank you for the explanation on that. I mean, you know, you have gone through the safety measures and, and that is a consideration. Um, Deputy Leader, do you want to come in now, please? Yeah. Uh, firstly, how many objections have been against it? And secondly, how many spaces are we taking away? We've had 10 objections. There were over 180 letters delivered, hand delivered to the to the area. We've had 10 objections and they are from the properties that directly would be affected in terms of how many parking spaces we're taking away. Um, some of those properties will not be directly affected anyway because they've got driveways from that, that are historic driveways on some of those roads, so they wouldn't be directly affected. Um, in terms of how many parking spaces we're removing, I I would have to go back and check for you, councillor. Okay, and so first. professionally, um, coming from you, Joy, as an officer, um, these these measures are put in place purely because of the road saf safety issues that this so road does provide and keeping the residents and the children safe of Goetra. Yes, definitely. That would be my that would be my recommendation that we put these in. OK. OK, so I'll go back to the item now then. Um, are you happy to approve this item, Councillor Jones? On reflection, listening to the officer's advice on this and, and looking at it, from my portfolio as well of community safety and public protection it's paramount really that we keep those residents and children safe in Goutra so I move in the recommendation. Okay thank you then item 15 is approved. I'm going to move on to agenda item 16 which is page 181 onwards traffic orders for Graham Terrace skewing. I note from the report that the local member supports this. Um, Councillor Jones are you happy to move? Move chair. Then item 16 is approved. Agenda item 17, page 207, traffic orders for Oakwood Street, Port Talbot. I note from the report the local members support this. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? I move, Chair. And item 17 is approved. Agenda item 18, page 229, traffic orders in Pontadawi. I note from the report that the local members support this. Councillor Jones, are you happy to approve? Move, Chair. And item 18 is approved. Agenda item 19, page 251, Riverside Brickyard Cottages Neath. I note from the report that the local members support this. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 19 is approved. Agenda item 20, there's a long list of these, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's a lot of them. You're getting them all in. Agenda item 20, page 273, uh, traffic orders in Tide Park. I note from the report that the local members support this. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 20 is approved. Agenda item 21, page 293, traffic orders for Eskol, Grenad... I can't even say that. I not, can't say where, sorry. Neat Abbey. Yes. This is for permission to advertise the various traffic orders. Councillor Jones, are you happy to move? Move, Chair. And item 21 is approved. Now, can somebody give me a Welsh lesson on that, Sheila, please? What is it? Eskol? Eskol Gunrav. Gunrav, right. Gunrav. right. Okay. I'm not very good at Welsh. Primary, primary in Welsh. Right, okay. That's living with an English husband for over 40 years. Sorry. Right, agenda item 22, page 313. Individual disabled parking place at number 7, Penawyn Road, Neath. This is permission to advertise the various traffic orders. Councillor Jones, are you happy to approve? I move, Chair. Item 22 is approved. Agenda item 23, P, uh, page 331, individual disabled parking place at number 2, Jeffrey Street, Neath. This again is permission to advertise the traffic order. Councillor Jones, are you happy to approve? I move, Chair. And item 23 is approved. Agenda item 24. Um, I have one urgent item which can be found in the circular supplement, and that's uh, agenda item 25. Uh, this is this is the urgent works programme. Is there anything further to add from Councillor Jones or officers? Nothing for me. Yeah. Yes, 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 right. please. Um, yes, and a point of clarification on the works programme report. Uh, in the appendix with all the works programme, one of the columns is labelled uh, Welsh Government Road Refurbishment Grant and you'll see in the report that that element of work um, as stated was subject to confirmation of the grant. 
We've now had com uh, clarification that the Welsh Government Road Maintenance Grant is finishing in the current year, but it's been replaced by a new additional funding stream which includes highways. Now that notification also came through too late for the Council's capital budget setting report. So there will be another report from the Chief Finance Officer to the new members allocating this new additional capital funding, which includes highways um, in, I suppose, in the beginning of July now. So if it or, or whichever um, cabinet or wherever the Chief Finance Officer reports it. So it's just to update that the report is sound as it is in that that element of work is subject to confirmation of the grant. But the grant is no longer road maintenance, road refurbishment grant. It, it's this additional capital that Welsh Government have provided, which is going to be subject to another report to members. OK, thank you, Mr. Roberts. Can you note that in a minute, Santami, please? OK. And, and, and just to note for, for the eagle eyed among you that um, included in the works programme was the money for the grip bins that was subject to the decision of the scrutiny board and subject to your decision earlier on in this meeting so that that money is 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 was included in the works program okay thank you right uh, right so um this item has been subject to integrated impact assessment screening the recommendations are on page 5 of the supplement pack councillor jones are you happy to move move chair Item 25 is approved, so there are no further items and that ends the business for today. Thank you all for attending. Have a nice weekend. Weather's going to be beautiful, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers nice. off. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.